Are you in debt? Or do you know someone in debt? Well, it seems acceptable. The Bible plainly discourages getting into debt because it is one of Satan's nets that he sets for souls. God's ideal for his people is to lend to many nations, but borrow from none. God also warns us through Paul, owe no one anything except to love one another. But how can we avoid, get out of, or manage debt? There are three primary reasons why people get into debt. Reason number one is ignorance. Many people, even the educated, are financially illiterate. They were simply never exposed to the Bible or even secular principles of money management. Education is part of the solution here. The second reason why people get into debt is greed or selfishness. Those who want to get rich fall into temptation and a trap, and into many foolish and harmful desires that plunge people into ruin and destruction. Driven by a certain love of the world, and allured by advertising or personal desire, many people live beyond their means. They aren't willing to live in, drive, or wear what they can afford. Many of them also feel that they are too poor to tithe. Consequently, they live their lives without God's promised wisdom and blessing. But the remedy for this problem is the work of the Holy Spirit in their hearts, exchanging greed and selfishness for contentment. The third cause of debt is personal misfortune. Like natural disasters, losing one's employment without sufficient savings, being abandoned by a spendthrift marriage partner, or a severe illness without adequate health insurance. Change may come with the support of Christian friends, the counsel, and or assistance of godly counselors, hard work coupled with a good education, and the blessing and providence of God. However, those in debt will need to make changes in their spending and financial priorities. Now, how do we get out of debt? There is a premise and three steps. The premise is a commitment to God to be faithful in returning his holy tithe to access his wisdom and blessing. He is eager to bless those who obey him. And here are the three practical steps. First, no additional debt, no more credit spending. If you don't borrow money, you can't get into debt. Second, to make a covenant with God, to use the money earned to reduce debt, not to purchase more things. Step three, start eliminating the smaller high interest debts and use the free up amount of money to repay the next higher debts. In addition to it, the Bible also encourages us to flee from get rich schemes and surety. We must be helpful to those in need, but not become responsible for their debts because we don't live in an ideal world, there might be times when it is necessary to borrow. Just make sure that you have the best deal possible and the best interest rate available. Then borrow the very minimum that you need and pay it off as quickly as possible to save on interest costs. While we honor God by managing our resources with caution and responsibility, let us study the Bible daily and learn more about dealing with debt.